bless you and welcome to Walking in Miracles. Allah yabarikum haza al-barnamig asir fi al-tariq al-mu'ajizi. And nothing is impossible with God. Mish haga mustahila and Allah. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Wa huwa amis wa al-yawm wa ila al-abad. Just believe God for the impossible. Sik fa Allah wa amin fi amal al-mustahila. And this program is dedicated to God's miracles. هذا البرنامج مخصص ليد الله تعمل بالشكل المعجز. Last week we had the most wonderful testimony. Okay, the week we had the most wonderful testimony. And today, that same lady is back. And the same lady is back. I'd like to introduce Patricia, the, our songbird. Patricia, اللي بترنم. And then oh. Linda Servisa. Lakhto Linda. And Robert. Lakh Robert. Lord bless you. Reverend Mancilla, and Lord then our you. interpreter. Ah, المترجم مراد ما. You can see I'm getting a little hoarse, so I'm going to open this Bible study up, this program up with Patricia reading us. الأخت باتريشا تقرأ لنا جزء من كلام الله. And what what is it you're reading today, Patricia? Today we're reading Matthew 14. في المتى 14. Verse 13 through 21. And what is it about? It's about when the five thousand were fed. Oh my goodness. آه عن عن إشباع الجموع. That certainly was a miracle. آه يعني ده العمل المعجزي إشباع الخمسة آلاف. You know something today Jesus is working the same kind of miracle. النهاردة is ركز لأن الله يقدر يعمل المعجزة معاه. We've gone on missionary trips to Mexico and had 300 bags of food. آه إحنا رحنا المكسيك وكان معانا يعني طعام كتير. We ended up feeding 500 people. وكان هناك إطعام خمسمية من الموجودين في المكسيك. God just multiplied the food. الله بارك الطعام ويعني ضعفه. When we were in Africa, لما كنا في أفريقيا, we had little badges with the picture of Jesus on it. آه كان معانا يعني هدايا كده للصورة المسيح. We had two hundred. آه كان معاهم متين. And at least five hundred people came to that service. وكان حوالي خمسمية حاضرين للخدمة. In West Africa. في وسط أفريقيا. Thank you, Jesus. شكرك يا رب. Okay, Pat, would you read for us today? Matthew 14, verse 13 through 21. When Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place. Let him interpret him. فلما سمع يسوع انصرف من هناك إلى سفينة في موضع خلاء منفرد. And when the people had heard thereof, سمع الجموع تبعوا مشاة من المدن. They followed him on foot out of the cities. Uh, and Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude. And was moved with compassion toward them. And he healed their sick. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him. Saying, this is a desert place. And the time is now past. Send the multitude away. That they may go into the villages. And by themselves victuals. But Jesus said unto them. They need not depart. Give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, We have here but five loaves. And two fishes. He said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down. On the grass and took the five loaves. And the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up 
the fragments ثم رفعوا ما فضل من الكسر that remained 12 baskets full وتبقى 12 قفه مملوءه and they that had eaten were about 5000 men والاكلون كانوا نحو 5000 رجل beside women and children ما عدا النساء والاولاد this is a tremendous tremendous miracle دي معجزه عظيمه and when I was reading this, I was reminded of us who need finances. God can multiply your finances, beloved. He's multiplied food in our cupboards. Believe God for the impossible. For all things. But Reverend Mansilla is going to share a miracle that occurred with him. Robert, I believe a miracle. There was a healing and a miracle took place when I went on this uh, uh, missionary trip to uh, France and Spain. Uh, it began when I got in the waters of Lourdes. As I stepped into the water, I asked the Lord to touch my liver. لما نزل في الميه سال ربنا ان يشفي الكبد بتاعه what was wrong with your liver ايه اللي كان مشكله في الكبد ده i have i had hepatitis c كان virus. عنده مرض الالتهاب الكبدي oh الوبائي اللي هو سي ده and you've had friends die of that haven't you yes, عدد I, من yes, زملائه واصدقائه باتوا بالمرض so go ahead robert so as i stepped into the water لما نزل في الميه and came out back out of the water طلع بره من الميه as I was getting dressed, I felt uh, a reinforcement, uh, a strengthening in my legs. I continued to get dressed and went outside. There was a priest that went with us, Father Leonard, Mary. And I explained to him my, what I experienced. وشرح ليه ايه اللي حصل له. Just looked at me and shook his head and says, uh, yes, you did. نظر اليه الكاهن ده وقال له يعني هذا راسه كده. How could you tell that you were healed, Robert? ازاي تقدر تقول انك شفيت يا روبرت؟ I felt as, as something, uh, as strength came into my legs, both legs. ان قوة جت في رجليه. As, as if something had got a hold of my legs. حاجة مسكت رجليه. From that day on, من هذا اليوم فصاعدا I have to this day hadn't had a problem with my legs. ما كانش عنده مشكلة في رجليه. So that was a miracle that took place. دي معجزة حصلت معايا. Now my healing of the miracle began there in Lourdes also. كمان بداية المعجزة حصلت معايا لما كان في المية دي في فرنسا. As I returned on my trip. وهو راجع من الرحلة. I went to the doctor. راح للدكتور. And through the uh, through the pills that I was uh, given to me, the Lord was able to heal me of the hepatitis C. I took these pills for 12 weeks. At the end of 12 weeks, the, the doctor told me that they couldn't detect the virus anymore. But by law, I had to wait, I think it was 30, 45 days after the, the after. So when I returned back to her, or to them, they told me officially, that I was healed, that there was no hepatitis in my body detected. So, Robert, why, why, do you, um, why do you feel this is a miracle? I feel, well, I, I, as, as Mama mentioned, I've had people, I, I've had friends that have died of this uh, virus. Even taking those pills. Some of, those pills. Some of them have taken these pills. And it hasn't worked for them. But God is gracious. He was gracious unto me. And he healed me. So I can let others know that God is still in the miracle business. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And Patricia, 
You had إيمان. a miracle. وانت يا باتريشيا yeah. حصل لك معجزات. She's going to share her miracle. اه تمارك يا قدم لينا ذا. Because I was driving on the freeway. كانت بتشوق على الفريوي. At 5:30 in the morning. حال الساعة 5 ونص الصبح. And I was tired. I'd been up all night in the emergency room. اه وبعدين راحت لغرفة العلاج يعني. And I dozed off at the wheel. Driving. Uh, يعني كانت you were driving and yes. what happened? She I fell started asleep. falling asleep. Uh, يعني نامت وهي على الدركسيون يعني. So I opened my eyes and the car was totally out of control. وهي بعد شوية فتحت عينيها وكانت العربية مش في حالة من التوازن. On a freeway 65 miles an hour. كانت ماشية على سرعة 65 ميل. And I had no control over the steering wheel. ما حصل حصل ليها أنها فقدت التوازن والسيطرة على عجلة القيادة. It was like being in a movie. And I, I wasn't afraid, but I called on the name of the Lord. And I, I said, Jesus, help me. And then, very quickly, the car just came to a stop off the side of the freeway. And someone was, had seen what had happened. شاف حد من اللي كانوا ماشيين وراها اللي حصل. And they ran across the freeway. It was a cab driver. اه يعني مشي وراها. And he said that was a miracle what I just saw. He actually said that. يقول ده حاجة معجزية. أنت كنت فخدة السيطرة والعربية بتروح وتيجي وبعدين العربية وقف وقفت فجأة. And I actually I actually hit another car. اه يا خبطت عربية تاني. They had some minor injuries. يعني كان في يعني تلفيات بسيطة في العربية اللي خبطت فيها. And they were okay. وكانوا كويسين. And I just had one torn ligament in my back. أنا حصل لها إن واحد من الأوتار بتاعة العضلات حصل له يعني تمزق. But I know it was the Lord that intervened. لكن هي وثقت تماما إن ربنا تدخل في المشهد علشان ما تفقدش حياتها. Amen. It you know, we, we thank God for every miracle in our life. Amen. You don't take, you don't take Jesus' power for granted. Amen. And this is the age that Jesus is raising up his end time army. And, the, and this is truly the age of the Holy Spirit. This is truly the age of God the Holy Spirit. It's so important, brothers and sisters. <coughs> to be under subjection of the Holy Spirit of God. And we're going to be teaching on that through these sessions. Because God wants to use you. Just as he healed Robert, as he healed Linda, and as uh, Pat had that tremendous miracle of driving. He wants to touch your life so that you're a strong, not only spiritually strong, but physically strong. But this takes faith. Now, Linda, when you had your miracle, which was a healing of Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, disease yes. uh, verified by the doctor. Yes. Okay. Did you feel as you were believing God, as you were speaking to the doctor, as you were believing God for this healing, did you sense a spirit of um, trust come, a spirit of faith? It was, you, it was an unusual sensation because I, when I spoke those words, it was as if the Holy Spirit yes. came through me and said them. In other words, it's like, like time stood still and you spoke them. And, I, and when I spoke them, I said to myself, why did I say this? Uh-huh. Yes, I've had that happen to me. <clears throat> and um, Robert, what did you feel? Did you feel that uh, you well, believed God for this or did you go in doubting? I need to know that. Yes, but uh, that, that's, that's, the main, that's the key, to believe. Believe that he's going to do it. Muftah huwa al -iman. The Word of God tells us to walk by faith, not by sight. Exactly. So whether the hurt is there after they pray for you or not, believe that God has touched you. Because you don't work by 
things that you see. You go, you go forth by faith in your heart. And Linda, you have a scripture that you're going to share. Hebrews 11. It was Hebrews 11. One is that to hope for the substance of things that we don't see. Okay. Linda, could you please read that, Pat? Yes. Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Okay, stop right there. Faith is a substance. It's not a daydreaming. Amen. It's not just a, something from the air. It's an actuality. It's an actuality. It's for the evidence of things not seen. This, this is what Linda was saying. It's the evidence you don't see. You don't see that miracle right away, Amen. or that child healed, whatever it is. Yes. You just believe that God's going to touch it, and that's what faith is believing. Go yeah. ahead, Pat. Allah that's, that's the whole scripture. And it's a, faith yes. is a substance of things not yet seen, but the evidence of things not seen. Uh -huh. Well, some Bibles say, but hoped for. Hoped for, amen, yes. yes. Some Bibles say that. Yes. So in other words, how do you establish that faith? Linda, how did you establish that powerful faith? I established that powerful faith by my faith started a long time ago, but when I connected with this ministry, Christ in you, the hope of glory, is when my growth was established. And there is nothing stronger than when you're walking with the Holy Spirit and you surround yourself with people of like spirits, you know that that you're operating in the truth of God. That's beautiful. And I know you're a great woman of prayer, Linda. One of the greatest women of prayer that I know. Yes. What what is your prayer life, Linda? My, um, I spent I spent a lot of time in prayer. And I never thought I was called to be an intercessor. I always thought that was for other people. Yeah. That, that I was just to study and teach the word of God. But then the Holy Spirit moved on me. And all I do is pray for others now. You spend at least an hour or so every yes. day in prayer or maybe perhaps yes. Yes. And beloved brothers and sisters, this faith moves the hand of God. The Amen. scriptures say faith moves the hand of God. And another way that you, you, it's your prayer life, it's surrounding yourself with um, with the brethren يعني of God, people who are positive, not negative. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. And then, of course, coming to Bible studies and continuing on there. But Linda is so special. Because she ministers to the poorest of the poor. Uh, and very, very wealthy people. Uh, so she doesn't see them as poor or wealthy. She sees them as children of God. Amen. And you have a Bible study at, at your home. I do. I have a, the Bible study is at my home. And the women that attend my Bible study are very, very wealthy. But they have grown so much in the Lord. They love coming to hear the word of God. Their habits have changed. They are attending church regularly. They are praying regularly. And though they don't need for material things, 
They are still in need of spiritual things. لكنهم محتاجين لنمو وبركات عطايا روحية. You know, the devil is real. Amen. زي ما الشيطان حقيقي. And powerful. وقوي. But God, our Lord, is more real and more powerful than the devil. لكن إلهنا الحي إله حقيقي وأكثر قوة. Today we're lifting up alcoholics. اه يقدر يطلع من الإدمان الحي. We're lifting up drug abusers. ويطلع من المخدرات. People who who are into pornography. والناس اللي بيشهدوا بإدمان الأفلام الجنسية. And we're going to break those chains as Pat sings the song. نهاردا خلينا نصلي وإحنا بنرنم الترنيمة دي عشان ربنا يكسر ويفك القيود. It's a powerful song. هذه الترنيمة القوية. The name of that song is Break Every Chain. آه لكسر كل القيود. Break every chain. كسر كل القيود. And you think of the chains of those that you love, you want broken. نعرض أنظر للمقيدين لأمور جنسية. Alcoholism. للكحلية. Drug addiction. للأدوية. So just listen to the words of this song. استمع لكلمات الترنيمة اللي جاية. There's chains of um, a husband cheating on his wife. Infidelity, chains of infidelity. God is breaking those chains. Continue. People of worldly attachments is taking anything that worries you away from you. Praise the Lord. Allah He's breaking chains of sexual In other words, am I a woman or a man? Those chains are broken right now, right now, right now, they're broken. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, 
you, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Fear of the times we live in. He's breaking those chains. And he's replacing it with trust in God. We will trust in God. God is our hope. God is our life. In Jesus' precious blood is setting us free. Right now his blood is setting us free. Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Yes, an army rising up. We are that army. We are that army rising up. We are that army rising up. Yes, Jesus. You are that army. God is strengthening you. To minister to others. Others will be delivered. Through your testimony. Hallelujah. To break every chain. To break every chain. Right now. Right now. Right now. We issue the angels of God in your home. The Lord is mending families right now. He's making, I mean, he's putting families together that have been broken. Husbands and wives. Sisters and brothers. Daughters and sons. He's putting those together. And the spirit of anger is leaving your home. As the angels of peace and love are established. In Jesus' mighty name. We love you, Lord. Thank you for today. And right now, I am praying. For all of those who need to know the scripture, who need to read the Bible. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. I am issuing to each one of you a hunger for the word of God. A hunger, a greater hunger for the word. Also, if you haven't received Jesus, repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I want to live for you. I receive your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sins. And I believe you rose from the dead. And now I know I belong to you, Jesus. And I'm in the family of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Holy Spirit of God. Just fall upon each household. The Lord, is, the Lord is supplying needs that you all need. Somebody needs a car. A mother is crying out for groceries in her home. A father is crying out for his son, his son who's a addicted. God is healing all of that. Allah be middi do be shifa. He's breaking chains in families. In Jesus' mighty name. Remember, faith is a substance of things hoped for, but not yet seen. Believe in God for the impossible. But you don't see them yet. But in your heart, you're believing. But you will see them. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.